Hi everyone, I'm Shai. I'm part of the Contentful Developer Relations team. I'm really excited to be here for another monthly changelog video where we get to dive in and take a look at everything that's come out from Contentful in the last month. This is a pretty exciting month. We've had a bunch of really great work and new features that I'm really excited to share with you. Let's take a look at the Contentful changelog. Now, before I start talking about our features, you might be thinking to yourself, hey Shai, this video is great, but it's only once a month. What do I do if I wanna keep up with things outside of your monthly videos? Well, luckily for you, we keep the changelog up on the internet. You can just go to contentful.com slash developers slash changelog, and you can keep track of all the changes as they happen. And if you're old school like me and you use an RSS reader, you can actually subscribe to this using RSS and keep up with all of the latest changes that way. Let's talk about the things that we're going to do this month. First off, I want to talk to you about some of the new APIs that we have for managing bulk content. There are three new endpoints that have been added to the Contentful Management API. We've got bulk actions, which let you publish, unpublish, and do validations on large collections of content in a single call. We've got releases, which lets you stage publish or unpublishes in a single API call, and you can validate that they're legitimate as well before they run. And then lastly, we have a new endpoint to let you see all of the references that are attached to an, an entry. We can take a look at all of the children that are associated. First off, I'm gonna dive into the reference API because I think that's actually the simplest and the fastest one of all the ones that we're gonna talk about today. To get started, I'm gonna show you one of my shows. This is my Power Ranger fan site, and we can click in and we can see that we've got this reference tree. This is something that's fairly new and contentful. And you might be thinking, okay, this is really cool. It's in the web app, that's great. How do I take advantage of it from the Contentful Management API? If I'm not using the web app and I wanna access this stuff programmatically, luckily for you, like I said, we've got that endpoint. So we can go ahead and take a look really quickly at the documentation for that. It's fairly simple. It's just a get request. You include your entry ID and all the associated information with the space and the environment. And then you just include a max depth of what you want. But here we've got an example using curl. I'm gonna be making get request in my command line. Let me pull up my command line. Here we go. Let me copy paste my request in. I've pre-formatted this because I don't think you all wanna watch me type in my space ID. I'm making a get request to that references. I'm passing my Contentful Management API token since this is using the CMA and I'm setting an include depth of 10. Uh, and there we go, we get an entry returning and we get all of the information from inside the entry as well and all of the children. We can see, you know, there's the character that's associated with this television show that I really like and highly recommend that everyone checks out. There we go, that's good to go. Next up, I am going to show you our bulk actions. We're going to take a look at the next endpoint. Bulk actions is really nice because it lets you do things in bulk, like it says, whether you need to do multiple publish events, multiple unpublish events, you can do it all in a single go. First off, you might want to check, you know, can you actually run an event? You know, is it legit? Is this, is this publish event, bulk publish event going to happen before it works? So we can actually do this in a couple places. We can make an API request and you can see down here, we've got the validate, but we can also see this in action on the Contentful web apps. Let me show you from right inside here. We can go ahead and we can click into this show and we can see that the title is required. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to get rid of it. And whenever the Contentful autosave, it's already picked it up. We see that the show has been renamed. We can head over to reference and we can go ahead and validate a bulk publish. And we can see that we can publish the entire thing. We can do this in bulk here and we can validate, is this a legitimate publish? Let's hit validate and it failed. Some references did not pass validation. We can see that this one failed and we can go ahead and see there's a validation error. And so if I click into it, we can see, okay, you know, what's wrong? Oh, hey, there's this thing. Let me go ahead and add a title, a common writer guy, because this is the name of the show. Go back to the reference, go ahead and validate it. There we go. All references passed, validation. And you know, we can hit the publish event and publish everything right now as well. And everything is published. We did something using the bulk API, but you might be thinking again, I don't want to do this in the web app. How do I do this in the command line? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. And I think a really good example of this is why don't we unpublish this show and the two characters that are attached to the show? Let me pull up content and we can see that everything is published in the side. And we can go ahead and we can click into the unpublished bulk action. We can click into this and we can see again, it's a post request. We need the CMA token and we have to pass a JSON blob and it's going to be linking to the things that we want to unpublish. And here we're using unpublished. So it's going to be an unpublished for the endpoint. Like before, I went ahead and I pre-wrote this and I'm just going to copy paste this into my terminal. You don't need to watch me because I don't think that's particularly fun. Let me clear this. 
and copy paste it. And HTTP PI, which is the library I'm using to make these requests, lets you kind of just pipe JSON in into it, which is really nice and really clean. I like how readable this is. And I, I like the pretty printing as well, which is the main reason I use this library over curl. Curl doesn't come with pretty printing. And we can see that we've made an unpublished action. We can see all our headers if we need them. And let's go ahead and take a look at the Contemple web app really quickly. And we can refresh and we can see that the three items that we talked about should be unpublished. And with luck, yep, there we go. They've migrated over into draft content, which is great. That's exactly what I wanted. Last thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to return these to a published status. If I want to trigger a publish or an unpublish, I can do that right away with the bulk publish and the bulk unpublish endpoints. But if I want to maybe stage these, let's say for whatever reason, I'm preparing for a new launch. Let's say it's Black Friday or maybe it's a holiday and we need to do a bunch of changes and these changes are pretty significant and we need to do them all in one go. Well, releases is a really nice way to let you stage that. You can create a release and you can add all of the publish and unpublish events that you need to into that release. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and trigger it. Releases let you stage it. If you're using Launch and Compose, there's a nice visualization that you can use within the Launch app to manage this. But if you're not using Launch, you can still take advantage of it for it from the Content Management API, which is really nice. Let's go ahead and create a new release. And before I do that, I'm gonna pull up where it is in the documentation. We can see right here, we've got releases. We can create a release, we can update a release, we can delete a release, we can run it, we can validate it, which is all good stuff. Let's go ahead and get started by creating a release. Give me one second, query release, create release. Here we go, that's what I'm looking for. We're gonna go ahead and give it a JSON blob with the entries that we want for this example. I'm going to do the same format with the post request here because it's a post request in this instance. And we can go ahead and uh, run that. And I hit enter and it'll go. And we can see here that uh, we've got a release that's created. It's going to link to the items. Uh, and it's also going to give us a release ID. I'm going to grab this because I'm going to need this in just a second. Now, for folks that do have access to Launch and Compose, I do want to make sure uh, just to quickly show off what that looks like from inside. I can see we can see here that I called this get uh, changelog release. If we head over to releases from the Contentful Launch app, we should be able to see one of these right here. We can see the changelog release. We can click into this and we can see you know the three things that are going to come along. Uh, and we've got all of the validation and stuff that we, we have also in the endpoints. We can validate and say that, yep, this is a valid release. Let's go ahead and do stuff. And just like we can do from the API, we can add content right here. We can delete content right here. But we're not going to use launch today to actually publish this. We're going to go ahead and do this via the API. Let's go ahead and take a look at how do we publish a release. We've got publish release, and this is our endpoint. It's a put request. We need that release ID that we got returned when we created the release. And for whatever reason, if you lose it, there's also a get release ID endpoint, so you can get all of your release endpoints as well. So let's go ahead and make that put request. Let me clear this out, copy paste. We're doing a put, we're doing a release, we're providing that release ID. We've got an authorization token and oh, it looks like, yep, there we go. We've got my Contentful version as well. And I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to run it. And we can see that it successfully worked. We had this publish event. And now when we go back into Contentful and we refresh, we should see three pieces of published content and everything is good to go. Our release is fired successfully and we published all of those things. And, you know, the release kind of just lets us stage it before we let that bulk action happen, which is really nice. That's item one of the change log. That's a pretty big one. I know it's uh, covering three brand new endpoints, uh, which is really exciting. Uh, and if you want to dig into this one in more depth, you can do from the Contentful change log and all of this documentation is up in the Contentful management reference. Something to keep note is that SDK availability for these things is still coming. Just keep an eye on the Contentful SDKs. There should be support in our entire SDK ecosystem over the next couple days and weeks. And right now this is all completely supported via, you know, standard HTTP requests as well. Whew. Okay. That was good. That was fun. I'm going to take a quick breath because that was a lot of talking. Uh, just a quick shout out, like I said at the top, uh, if you want to keep an eye on all of these things, you can do the Contentful change log. You can subscribe via RSS or you can just visit the page every so often, or you can just keep an eye on our YouTube channel, maybe subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll have one of these videos back for you next month. 